what's up welcome back to the channel everybody uh, thank you for all the subscribers thank you for the thumbs up thank you for the comments appreciate it I hope I can keep making good content for you guys and uh, hopefully this will be another good content for you and uh, we're gonna get right to this video guys so let's rock and roll all right well today we are talking about nitro engines because uh, a lot of you guys still run the nitro and I hear a lot of complaints about motors freezing up locking up you know after you get, get done running them a month or so you go get them back out knock the cobwebs off and motors are locked up and I just want to kind of give you a little quick rundown on a few anybody know what this is how old it is I'll tell you it's an RC 10 GT but they don't make them like this anymore. That's the blue frame. That's the team associated. It's not the gold pan. This one, uh, last time I run it was about a year and a half ago. And it's still free as can be. Very nice. I like that. I'm going to explain why all these are like this. And here is HPI Super Nitro RS4 it's got a 300 millimeter body 8 scale body on a 10 scale vehicle makes it look huge this one I don't think I've ran this one in about the same time three years and beautiful compression And this one, it's a little bit newer. This is the Kyosho Inferno 7.5. It's an 8 scale buggy. And this one actually gets started by the Roto Box. But, nice and free motor. And these things have been setting for quite a while. This, this one about a year. This one about three years. This one, about three years. That's a stock motor, by the way. And it still runs beautifully like it's supposed to. And there's the original motor out of the HPI. And this one's still beautiful compression. Completely unfrozen. And uh, I'm going to get right to it and let you guys know what I do, what I use. And if you guys do end up getting a stuck motor. So we'll get right to it. Alright, well, have you guys ever had a stuck motor before? If you answered yes, the best product I have found to use is liquid wrench. Lubricating oil. Until I've had this can a while. And this stuff works great. Spray it work it a little bit you know take the glow plug out spray a little bit down in the cylinder spray some in the carburetor it'll free up everything just slowly work it and it'll free up all right wd-40 works awesome as well and another trick you can do is you guys got some old fuel laying around that's no good you can soak the motor in old fuel for a little bit and it'll free it up soak it overnight if you want if you ain't got if you got plenty of time soak it overnight and you guys see what that nasty stuff is right you guys like vehicles set long you guys will see that see all that gummy nasty stuff now I've only had one fuel to do that I'm not going to state the name so I make sure I cover the names up but you guys know the color I do not recommend this fuel at all. I have had so many complaints about this stuff. It gums up stuff if you use it, and in a week or two of this after use, your motor's locked up because of this nasty stuff. This is only good to soak in motors in because you're going to run fresh fuel through it anyhow. Do not use the blue. I recommend at least a 20% nitro uh, now what I run is a synthetic oil in mine uh, 
with the nitro fuel, I run a synthetic oil. I don't even have to worry about running the after run oil afterwards. I have never once had a motor froze up on me. Never heard it. I run mine just a hair rich. As long as I see a little smoke coming out of there, I'm happy. And I've never had a problem with my motors. Keep that in mind. So, 20% nitro. Try to get the one with the synthetic oil. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have it in your area, but O'Neill Racing Fuel. The uh, nitro fuel, O'Neill's, is the best stuff I've found. And that takes care of the nitro. Now, some of you fifth scale guys out there, a uh, little two cycle oil is kind of hard to figure out what's the best to use. Uh, again, I use synthetic. And this is actually motorcycle two cycle oil. And I mix my proper mixture for one gallon. This one is a little over half full. Only downfall about this is about $16 a pint. But it lasts a long time. And do yourself a favor. Do not run the ethanol fuel in your fish scales. Find your non-ethanol fuel. You will find out that it will make everything last longer. Your rubbers don't get hard. Your carburetor gaskets don't foul out on you. You know, stuff like that. So keep in mind, non-ethanol fuel and run two-cycle oil mix in with it. It'll make your engines last a whole lot longer. And uh, that's where we're going to end the video at today, guys. Hey, what do you guys think? I hope that gives you guys some information and kind of helps out a little bit. Uh, just, that's what I do. I mean, everybody does things differently, but that's the way I do my things. And I have nothing but good luck with everything that I own. And uh, if this is something you guys like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell so you can keep up with my upcoming videos. And uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if it's something you guys like as well. And, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer back to you as fast as I can. And uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in to uh, RC Terminators. And I hope we can do better for you guys. I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a good one.